Hello everybody, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, a little bit of a different scenery here. Normally I would record these types of videos in the recording studio. However, that is being taken right now. It's occupied, that's what I was looking for. It's occupied right now and I need to get this video up for today. I'm filming it on the day you're seeing it. Um, so I'm gonna be doing it here. So I apologize for the sound. Hopefully it's not too echoey. But for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why I moved to LA for a year and then also kind of sharing my life updates and then some goals I have for the future. Uh, this was actually asked by somebody in the comments section and I realized it's been a really long time since I've like talked about myself and kind of like introduced myself. I think the last time I did that was like my very first video, kind of like who I am, which by the way was like eight years ago. No, that's not math. Six years ago. Yeah. Very long time ago. So if I look down over here, it's because I have like my computer with my notes here so I can reference it to make sure that I don't forget any main points that I want to talk about. So just ignore that. But so first off, like I already mentioned, um, I've been doing YouTube a lot for a very long time. Uh, I started doing it when I was 16. And the reason why I started was because in middle school, I had this like media class um, it was like a media slash leadership class. We like broadcasted uh, school announcements to the entire school, um, which was super fun. And that kind of like initiated my interest in video editing and creation. And then in high school, I also took like the media class there where we broadcasted daily announcements to the entire school, which was a lot more like high production than like, um, middle school was, so it was really cool to see and take part of. And so those two components kind of fueled my, I guess, interest in video creating and making a YouTube channel. So then I just decided when I was just starting my junior year of high school, I was like, sure, let's just go for it. Like, why not? It's something that I'm interested in, kind of like a nice little hobby uh, to, you know, take part in when you're not doing school and I've been doing it ever since. I have not missed a single Sunday since I've started, which is something I'm very proud about actually. Um, but yeah, so besides the YouTube realm, um, kind of like who I am. So currently I'm a pharmacy student. I attend University of the Pacific. I am currently a P3, so that means I'm in my third year of pharmacy school, which for UOP is the final year. Uh, of school, which means that I am currently doing my API rotations, which stands for Advanced Pharmacy Practice Experience. And so that's like the main reason why I moved down here, but I'll kind of get into more specifics about that later. Uh, so that's kind of it for introducing myself. Uh, I'm going to move on to life updates now. So that brings me into talking about why I moved here. So my first year of pharmacy school, we chose our API sites. So it was kind of like a lottery system and we got to choose where we wanted to do our rotations our final year. And so I just decided um, back then, I was like, I don't know, I've never moved anywhere from home before. Um, even like college was super close by home. It wasn't that far from where I was. And you know, I could easily drive back if I wanted to go home or my parents could visit me. And so, I don't know, it was just like, I kind of want to try something new, you know, live somewhere I've never lived before. Still somewhat close to family, so I'm not, you know, completely isolated. Um, but yeah, so I decided to just choose the Long Beach region. It also just happened to be a very popular region. I lucked out and I was number 23 in the lottery system, meaning I was the 23rd person who got to pick. So I got to choose from any of the available sites. And fun fact, for my year, Long Beach was the one that filled up the fastest. Um, so that's why I moved down here, just to kind of be somewhere new and live on my own. So I've, I've enjoyed it so far. And so then, you know, I, during those first two years of pharmacy school, I was progressing through my didactics and I was super busy. And it was kind of hard to maintain the channel, if I'm being honest. 
because I did post weekly, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot when you're in pharmacy school. Uh, it's 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 a lot. It's it's high demand for time. Um, and you know the videos that I upload, I want them to be not bad. <laughs> so that does take time too. So after my final trimester, because our school is in trimesters uh, of didactics, like ever, I had two days to get all of my belongings from NorCal down to, or no, sorry, two days to pack up all my belongings so that I can get all my belongings from NorCal to SoCal, which was absolutely crazy. Moving was crazy. And during those two days where I was at home packing, I also had so many doctor's appointments because I had to get a lot of medical clearances for starting rotations. And then I also wanted to get my eyeballs checked so that I, if I need, I'm getting a call. One second. Hi, I'm recording this after the fact and I realized that I forgot to finish my sentence here before resuming after my phone call. But the reason why I had my eye appointment was so that I can get new glasses if I needed to uh, before starting rotations since my glasses place and everything was in NorCal and it was just a lot easier than finding a new place down in SoCal and getting that done. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and resume to the video now. Okay, I'm back. And so I was talking about the moving process. So um, if you want to see like, moving into my apartment where I am here. Um, I'll go ahead and link that in the corner and then also in the description box below. Um, so you can check that out if you're interested, if that's something you you're interested in. I think it's a pretty fun vlog. Um, it kind of shows my apartment looked like when it was completely empty and there was like nothing in here. Um, but yeah, so after a couple of days of like moving and settling in and buying everything, like going to Ikea, Target, like all these places, um, it was time to begin my rotations. So each rotation is six weeks long. And so far I've completed internal medicine and ambulatory care. And I'm pretty much done with my hospital practice rotation as well. Uh, that one, so today's Sunday, if you're watching it on the day it uploads, um, after this week, I am done with that. So that means I will be halfway through my appies, which is absolutely wild and insane. If you're curious about what like my day in the life looks like, I also have videos for those. So I have a day in the life for internal medicine, day in the life for ambulatory care, and then I will be posting, I think next week or very soon, a day in the life for hospital practice. Um, those rotations, if you want, I will link them also in the description so you can check them out if that's something you're interested in as well. Um, but that's pretty much it for updates. I'm doing pretty well and I'm happy down here. I'm close to like family that I don't really get to see as often, which is really nice. So for this year, I've been able to hang out with my cousin and friend a lot more. And I've just, it's been really nice to like hang out and see them. Cause typically I would only go to LA. Well, I say only, but it's like every break. Spring break, I don't know. I didn't really go during summer break cause summer break was like so short um, for our school. And then uh, winter break. So I kind of went like twice a year, um, but it's super cool. Like even today, like I'm gonna be heading down to LA or I guess up technically um, to visit my cousin and friend. So that's gonna be fun. And it is still very busy, even though, you know, I'm not in didactics anymore. I'm doing rotations now, but it's still really busy because, uh, you know, rotations are very time demanding. And I also have projects on the side too. And then studying for the Netflix. So it's busy, but I am grateful because number one, it's very nice down here. I love my apartment. It's super nice. And number two, um, I haven't been able to spend a lot more time with people. So I've been able to see family. I've been able to see friends. Definitely a lot more than in didactics. I feel like in didactics, I kind of just kept to myself in my room and just studied all day, which is kind of sad, but also very true. Not that I don't study now, but I definitely am able to have a little more fun now, which is good. So. Now I'm going to move on to my goals section. So as I'm in my final year of pharmacy school and I'll be graduating in just a couple of months, which is absolutely wild. I am currently looking at residencies to apply to. So fun fact, it is very much application season right now. It is mid-December pretty much and applications are due very beginning of January. So I'm heavily working on that right now, uh, which has been a little stressful, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's for the future. As for my interests though, like for what types of residencies I'm thinking of pursuing, I'm currently mainly focused or interested in a focus of acute care settings. 
um, but I am also very much open to PGY1s that will provide me with like a well-rounded experience. Um, that way I can also kind of specialize where I want to go to with a PGY2 hopefully. Um, we'll see though, that's all just plans and goals. If that doesn't happen, we'll take it as it comes. Um, but for as to why I want to do a PGY1 residency, um, it's just because it'll expose me to a lot of different opportunities or a lot of different specialties. Um, and I can basically pinpoint and figure out what I want to pursue in the future. If I do a PGY2 or if I get a job, either way, um, it'll just definitely help. And it'll also provide a lot of learning opportunities, especially since at that point I will be a licensed pharmacist. So I will actually be able to verify orders and do everything that I can't do right now as an intern. And then also I will just gain a lot of connections, like especially with co-residents, I feel like uh, with them, like, you know, you'd be able to bond a lot because you're kind of going through this tough thing together and you're learning together, which will be very exciting and very fun. It's kind of like, from what I've heard, Appy's part two, except you're a lot more involved and you learn a lot more because, you know, at that point you're licensed. So there'll be lots of learning opportunities. So that's kind of what I'm looking at in the future. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, my life basically re revolves around pharmacy and YouTube right now. That's pretty much all I do. Uh, so that's all I have for you. If you liked this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comment section down below. I will do my very best to answer them to the best of my abilities. I am busy though, so it might take a little bit for me to respond, but I try to respond to pretty much every comment that I get. And that's it. I post videos every single Sunday, and I hope to see you back again next week. Bye.